Singaporean student Sunena M. was offered a place to read economics at Dartmouth College, an Ivy League university, known for its undergraduate programs. But the 19-year-old is turning the offer down because of pro-Palestinian protests that have broken out across U.S. campuses in recent months. Instead of heading to the United States this fall, she will go to the University of Cambridge in the UK in October. Ms. Sunena's parents were concerned for her safety after hearing that the authorities had arrested students and used brute force to break up protests. She is among a number of Singapore students who have changed their minds about going to elite US universities following the violence on campus. The Straits Times spoke to seven students, of whom four said they will go elsewhere to study. My parents don't feel very safe about me going to the US. They are afraid that I would get bullied or treated brutally because I wear a hijab. Especially in American universities where protesting, campaigning and activism is a norm, Ms. Sunena told the Straits Times. Top universities in the US, including Harvard, Columbia and Dartmouth, have been in the spotlight recently after students set up protest encampments on campus against Washington's stance in the Israel-Hamas war. Some schools called in the police to break up protests, making dozens of arrests with many students among them. Deciding against going to Dartmouth was a difficult decision as for Ms. Sunenor's parents as they had been making plans to move to the US permanently. Now Ms. Sunena will be heading to the UK on her own. Her parents have also scrapped their plans to migrate to the US. They had been in the process of finding jobs and locations to move to for the past five years. Since before the pandemic, she said. Both Ms. Sunena's parents are software engineers. The family settled on sending Ms. Sunena to Britain, where campus protests were more civil and peaceful. Madam Angeline Su, 52, is also concerned about the safety of her only son, who has been offered a place at Yale. We saw some videos of the police taking away students who were protesting. She said. She added that she was worried because her son is very interested and actively involved in activism especially for humanitarian causes. Madam Sue, a homemaker, and her husband had asked their son to apply to universities in Japan and elsewhere. But the 22-year-old, who only wanted to be known by his first name, Russell, insisted on studying social sciences at Yale. Universities in the US are more liberal in the sense that they allow for us to express our thoughts and what we are passionate about. He said. His parents, who already paid more than $90,000 for his school term and a deposit for his rental apartment, made him promise not to get involved in protests and to observe a strict 10 p.m. curfew every day. Command Education, a New York-based college admissions consultancy firm that provides guidance to students who want to study in the U.S., told ST that parents have raised concerns due to the recent protests in Ivy League schools. Mr. Christopher Reem, the CEO of Command Education, said 12 of its clients have been offered places at Columbia University and 8 have received acceptance letters from the University of Pennsylvania from the latest admissions cycle, which began late last September. Almost 100% of the clients we work with want to go to elite colleges in the US or UK, but over 95% want to go to schools in the US, Mr. Reem said. But out of the 12 students who were offered places at Columbia, only one is considering attending the school this fall. The firm did not say where the other 11 students have decided to go. Of the eight who were accepted by UPenn, only four have decided to attend the university, while the rest have opted to go to other universities within the US. Historically, acceptance to these universities often meant attendance. However, 
This cycle presented a notable shift as every student opted for an alternative institution, Mr. Rim said. Meanwhile, at least one student has decided to stay put in Singapore. Miss Michelle So was offered a place at Harvard but has instead opted to go to the National University of Singapore's Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences this August. My parents dissuaded me from attending a university in the US because they felt I might get influenced by the culture to protest and get into trouble. She told Saint, they also say I will not be able to study in peace when there are disruptions such as unrest and conflict taking place on campus, said the 19-year-old.